What's up, you boys and girls? It's Terry. The thief. And today we're doing a GCSE mathematics paper. I think we're doing this one. Good stuff. Good. Well, I've got a name. Oh, that's brilliant. GCSE, so what's I it? think we just get right into it and see how it goes. Alrighty, right. Question one. Let me see, question one. I'm just gonna pray that's focus. Here's some ingredients to make 16 gingerbread men. Blah, did they blah, blah. Let me write this down. Okay, I'm at 1 ATG flour. What do you make? Uh, it's sort of confusing. 40G ginger. I think we're at least grams. 110 gram butter. And 30 gram sugar. Hey, Miss, whoever hey, Miss is, wants to make 24 gingerbread men. How much of each ingredient does he need? Simple division and addition. Let's just show what we got set up. Take my fucking PS8, man. Well, from 16 to get to that, you half, half it, it and add it. So, right now to here, real easy. Question one. Jeez, lie right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm using the right Half of 40 is 20. Half of 110 is 55. And half of 30 is 50. What the hell is that? Sugar. I forgot, Sugar. <laughs> I forgot the thing. I just, no, I just add it. What's that, my brain ain't working. 60. That's 60. That's 60. That's 165. 165. Alright, well, do you even have a pen to write this down? Come, I'll write it. I'll fill it in the boot. A little shape for you boys, this is someone's garden. Alright. Well, show me the shape as well, do a doodle over there so they can see nice. And it says, Jim wants to cover his garden. Alright. And it said, a bag of grass seed that covers 20 meters squared, so right there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, slow you sit down, man. 20 meters. 20 meters squared costs 4 pound right now. Damn, they're at 5. How much does it cost him? Alright, so we'll split this up. Alright, first turn into two shapes, yeah? Nice and easy. 18 minus 12 is 6. So this little line here is 6 meters. So we do 9 times 12 meters for the total area of this square. Which is what, 108? 108 meters. 108. Meter squared. And you do 6 times 9 meters. So divide by 2. It. So when you do these two, that's the full. Area. We don't want the full. Right? Half of what did you say? 54? Mm. It's 27. 27 no, I meters squared. Plus, together, 135 yeah. meters squared. But, but, the grass that he buys, what's that? So, how much to divide that by? I divide by 20, so 20 like this. Um, like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Or you can just say, um, yeah. there's five lots in it to make a seven, hundred. Seven. And then six and then seven. Seven bags. Six in a bit, but he needs a seven bag, so you put yeah. seven. Seven. Is that all they need? That's all. Uh, we ain't done yet. Seven bag times. Here we go. The five pound. I cheated a little bit. Seven pounds minus no, seven no, no. pence. No, it's not. I lied. Seven times five. Seven pound times five pound is 35 pounds. And then, minus seven pence. take away. Is it 7p? Yeah, 7p. Minus 7p. 34 pounds. Whoa. And 93 Let me write it. You put it on the paper. Look, Les, all the working out, you're going to get the full marks. You know? How many marks is this question? Four marks. Four marks. We got the full marks. They've done a phenomenal job. So, you put a little bit in. Okay, four feet. Yeah, you rub this, I'll read this one to the man now. Take it to drawing. That's what I mean. Here you go, boys and girls. Take a look at this one. The diagram shows a prism. I'm gonna draw it. As Work out the volume. That's total volume of the prism. I'm gonna draw it for you. Cheese. Look at those graphics. This one's seven. This one's nine. This one's four. This one's nine. 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 Dog box and all that. 
Mm. Again, you gotta break these into two. Don't fall again. again. I'm gonna go beat him up. I'm gonna go beat him up. I'll beat him up. I'll be back. And I'll do some maths with him. I'm gonna do some maths. I'm gonna split it into two shapes. Alright, so we split it down there. So easy. You get the seven times the four. So I'm gonna write that. Seven times four times by ten. That should solve the dog problem. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Times ten is two hundred and eighty. Quick maths. And then you do five times two. Oh, you're times very messy, lad. Ten. Five times two. Times five times ten. two is ten. Times ten is hundred. Have you not given me full sums here? Because my my maths are correct, mate. I'm pretty sure it's correct. Have a look at yourself. Well, that would be five. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Five times the two times the ten. Okay. And then what? Just add them together. Yeah. Three hundred and fifty centimeters squared it will be because it's total volume. Did we write did we write meat? No, we didn't write anything. That's alright, so 350. Right that in 350 centimeters squared because it's volume. Is it squared right. or cubed? It's cubed because it's yeah. volume. Cubed. My apologies, it's cubed. You read that one, you expand the bracket. So tell the people how to expand the bracket. Well it's on the outside of the bracket. You times by what's on the inside of the bracket. So what's 4 times 3x? It's clearly 12x. Correct, let's put it in 12x. Oh, in the thin part. And then Plus 4 times 5 is 20. 20. That one's done. That's the answer. You're right in, right in. Next one. It's going to be 2x. So so this one has expand down. and simplify. So there's a third step. It should be 2x minus 8 plus 3x. Plus 15. Then you have to collect, you collect like terms. 2x. Plus 3x. Plus 3x. 5x. Minus 8. Plus 15. 7. Plus 7. Exactly. Plus 7. Let me write Last answer. Can it? The last question was off table. There you go. There you go. There you go. that. And the final one. Put times. I told you. What's in the brackets? Yes. So first you get x squared. x squared. Plus 6x. That way. I do first outside, inside, last. Stu- my my word, uh, he knows, he knows the method. Now we got a separate, separate one, so let's see. Go on. And then um, plus uh-huh. 6x. Plus 4x. Plus those two together. 24. <laughs> 24. <laughs> Quick maths. And then one. And simplify as well. Yeah, so you got the x squared. Plus 10 plus 24. And then you can tell me if that was what you came up with because we have different methods on this. Oh, one. yeah, yeah, mine just do the first outside, inside, last. It will come to the oh, same. Fair, 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 fair. Uh, so, do you agree with that? That's it. Oh, we can break that down. I feel like that's alright. We expanded it. I think that's, we the, most, it. I think that's the most simple thing. Mm, right so, let's show them a bit closer to the camera now. Like, whilst you write that down. Check the working, man. Check the working. Love it, love it. Get a little swag. Question. Here is part of Gary's electricity bill. The new reading: seven part seven thousand one hundred and fifty-five units. And the old reading: seven thousand and ninety-five units. And the price per unit is fifteen pence. How much? Work out how much Gary has to pay for the units of electricity he used. So what you gotta do, find the difference first. See, I don't think they're worded this Work correctly. out how much Gary funny. has to pay for the units of electricity he used. Technically he used them both. He used all of those units. Are they talking about the difference? Yeah, they're between... worded this a bit dodged to be honest. Are they talking yeah. about the difference between the old and the new? Is he just paying the new bill or the old bill? I don't think they would give us the old bill if it was just the new bill, yeah. so I think it's the difference, which is... So we got, uh, are we doing the difference or is it the total? I think it's the difference. But if we're wrong on this, we're not because we answered okay, the wrong we'll question, do, but yeah. right. We'll do the difference, okay? So the difference here is... is what, 60? 60 units. Yeah. So write 60 down. Show the people at home that right now it is. Just quick now. 60 units. So 60 units at a cost of 15 pence a unit. So you times it. Is uh, 90. 
No, it's times it by 10. A six hundred pence. Nine hundred p is nine pounds. Nine hundred p is nine pounds. So there you go. Nine pounds. That's our answer. Let me write it in here. It could be wrong, but that's the correct okay. answer for what we answered. Alright. You gotta make the question more pence. specific. Pound um, man, pound. You're dodgy. Nine pound. Who does that? Parents mate. You do a little pound sign. Oh, we're gonna out, yeah. You die me just one. Yeah. Yeah, you be the next one. Next one might be a bit long. Oh yeah. <laughs> a little bit long. Show the music. So as you saw, there's a little triangle. Right? It says the perimeter of the triangle is 56 meters. Draw a triangle. The area of this triangle is a meter squared. <laughs> Work out a. <laughs> a meter. It's not like you said <laughs> eight meters. So we told us the answer. So we have to work out a one. Got lost space there. Plus one. So first, and we know what do we know? We know the perimeter is fifty. So I was going to write p equals fifty six. What's that meters or meters? Meters. But if the perimeter is fifty six, all of these combined should equal fifty six. So let's add these together. We got three x plus three x is six x plus x. Seven x. Minus one plus one. Nothing. Cancel out. Seven x equals fifty six. So you divide on this side x seven. Equals and divide eight. on this side seven, which gives you eight. Okay, and then. Uh, so x equals eight. We plug eight into where all the x's were. Mm -hmm. Eight minus one. This is seven. Let's do it here. Eight minus. Tell me if that's on the shot. We'll show them any of these. Now I'm right here, 7, I'll put it in a circle. So 3 times 8 is 24. Eight 24 plus 1. 25. And then 3 times 8 again. 24. So this should be a way to tell if we're, we're correct. So we add them all up and what do we get? Uh, we got four. 56, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got 56. Yeah, 56. So is far, no, so far we're correct. Alright, that was just a double checker. We now need to work out the area. Okay, so you do 7 times 24 and half it, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, 7 times 24. 7 times 4 is 28. Okay, then 2. Times 7 times 2 is 14. 14. 14. 168. That's why I got. Yeah, same. Yeah? And you got half 168, so divided by 2 is what? 84. Meters? What do you want? What do you want? It's meters, it's meters, it's meters. You're right, just one down on the big board. Uh, yeah! Uh, right. Writing down. And read out, read out. It says write the following numbers in order of size, starting with the smallest. Alright. Okay. So, if you times it by 10 to the power of 2, you move it twice to the left. The values move two digits up this way. So the new value is? It's 3.8. Let's do it here like this. Now you're going to move 4 to the right because it's minus. So it's remember minus. The, remember the, the, the 0 is here value, okay? So you go 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 0. Point. Three eight. Yeah. Gotta double check you there, lad. You gotta count from the first I remember. Six one. It's for me. Three hundred and eighty. And this final one, because it's to the power of minus one, you move one to the right. 0 0.038. Now see friend, could you tell the boys and girls at home, put these in order, or smallest to largest? Because that's what the question was. This one. Correct. And then it's this one. Correct. And then it's this one. Great job. And then it's this one. Fantastic work. Easy, easy. How do people fail, man? Can't go wrong, man. What's that? How many marks is that? Two marks. Two marks. Yeah, good. It was easy piece in that. Nice and quick. Easy piece in this next one. We've done it. All right, we're at the we final have question. Last question. It's a short one, but it's show awesome. the people. Show the people. Lovely focus. Now let me write it here on the board nice and big for the boys at time. P Good. equals minus, I lied, equals 3 minus 2t. 
over 4 plus t. Now we have to root what? Make t the, the subject. subject. So we start by times in this fraction by 4, four plus, plus t. t to uh, just get rid of get it. Rid of that. Which means we have to times this side as well. Everything we do to one side, we also must do to the other. We're going to put a p bracket for t. If you want, you can. You like it look cleaner? No. Plus t. I don't think it's bracket. It's not 4 plus t times t. Because we're not times and math by everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 4 plus t times t, t equals 3, three minus 2t. T. T. Now we have like terms that we can collect. For we well, got you got to bring them to the take, same side. Take three side. away from here. What I would do? Oh, add two t. Then. Yeah, plus two t here. Plus two t. That makes this three. Plus two t. Three t. So we've got four plus three t times p equals three. Now you take um. We've got to get the T on these jacks first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's divide, divide the P. You want to get rid of the 4 first? Yeah, because they're numbers. Uh, minus 4 here. Minus 4 here. 3T times P equals minus 1. Give us one second. So for that fast forward, but after much deliberation and uh, you know back and forth between some numbers, we come to the value that t equals three minus four. What it turns that p? Yeah. Over p times two. No plus. Plus two. So hammer in there. So that p plus two. I'm gonna write it in. Is that I'm the last question? Lock yeah, it I'm, I'm locking write it, it in. down. Write it down. <laughs> three over minus three. Four p over p plus two. So that was the last question. Um, we've got a mark scheme on the phone. So we're going to go through that. And we're going to total up how many we've got right. Let me write this one now. The exam is over. We've totted up the score. You've got a lovely 39 out of 41. As you can see, 95%. Only, two, only two marks. Ooh, true. Only two marks. And we had less than half the time of regular exam. Yeah, how much is it? No, this is an hour 45. Oh yeah, we had nowhere near that. We've done it in like 30 minutes. We had nowhere near that. So we smashed I, it. Yeah, we smashed it. Proper smashed it. A star. If you want to see us smash some more GCSEs, mm -hmm. comment below what you want to see us do the exam on. And then uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.